boost your health. Six ways to increase nitric oxide naturally. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of nitric oxide and how you can naturally boost its levels in your body. You know, for years I looked for ways to feel better and have more energy. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. It turns out that nitric oxide is a naturally occurring gas in our bodies that plays a crucial role in our health. Nitric oxide is a vasodilator, meaning it relaxes and widens our blood vessels. This widening allows for increased blood flow, which in turn benefits our cardiovascular system, brain function and even exercise performance. Pretty amazing, right? Now the exciting part is that we can naturally increase our nitric oxide levels through simple lifestyle changes and dietary choices. And that's what we're here to explore today. Stay tuned to learn six effective ways to enhance your health by naturally boosting your nitric oxide levels. Let's kick off our journey to boosting nitric oxide with something we all know and love, vegetables. But not just any vegetables, we're talking about the powerhouses packed with nitrates. You see, our bodies can convert nitrates into nitric oxide, giving our health a significant boost. So, which vegetables should be on your plate? Think vibrant and colourful. Beets are a fantastic source of nitrates. They even have that beautiful red hue because of it. Add them to your salads, roast them as a side dish, or even juice them for a refreshing and healthy drink. Next up, we have leafy greens like spinach, arugula and lettuce. These greens are not only rich in nitrates, but also packed with essential vitamins and minerals. I love adding a handful of spinach to my smoothies or whipping up a big bowl of arugula salad with some grilled chicken. And don't forget about lettuce. It's the base for so many delicious and healthy meals. Incorporating these nitrate-rich vegetables into your diet can make a real difference in your nitric oxide levels. Remember, every little bit counts. Now let's talk about protecting the nitric oxide we're generating. Just like we protect our cars from rust and damage, we need to protect our nitric oxide from free radicals. And that's where antioxidants come in. Think of antioxidants as little superheroes fighting off those nasty free radicals that can damage our cells and decrease nitric oxide production. The good news is that loading up on antioxidants is easy and delicious. Mother Nature has provided us with an abundance of colourful fruits and vegetables bursting with antioxidants. Think berries like blueberries, strawberries and raspberries. They're not only tasty, but also packed with antioxidants that fight free radical damage. Add them to your yoghurt, oatmeal, or simply enjoy them as a snack. But don't stop there. Vegetables, especially brightly coloured ones like bell peppers, carrots and broccoli, are also excellent sources of antioxidants. And let's not forget about the power of nuts and seeds. Almonds, walnuts, chia seeds and flax seeds are all great additions to your diet, providing a healthy dose of antioxidants along with fibre and healthy fats. All right, let's get moving. Exercise isn't just good for our waistlines. It's like a magic potion for our blood vessels, thanks to nitric oxide. When we engage in physical activity, our blood vessels naturally produce more nitric oxide. It's like they're saying, hey, we need more blood flow here. And the best part is, you don't have to become a marathon runner to reap the benefits. Aerobic exercises in particular are known to be rock stars when it comes to boosting nitric oxide. Think of activities that get your heart rate up and make you breathe a little heavier. Going for a brisk walk in the park, hopping on your bike for a scenic ride, or diving into a refreshing swim are all fantastic ways to get your blood pumping and nitric oxide flowing. Even dancing around your living room counts. The key is to find activities you enjoy and make them a regular part of your routine. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Your body will thank you for it. Chapter four. Sometimes we need an extra boost and that's where nitric oxide supplements come in handy. These supplements often contain specific amino acids that act as precursors to nitric oxide production in our bodies. Two of the most popular and effective ones are L-arginine and L-citrulline. L-arginine is like the direct route to nitric oxide. Our bodies convert L-arginine into nitric oxide, making it readily available for our cells to use. L-citrulline, on the other hand, takes a slightly longer route our bodies convert L-citrulline into L-arginine, which then gets converted into nitric oxide. 
Now you might be wondering which one is better. Well, both L-arginine and L-citrulline have been shown to effectively increase nitric oxide levels, but L-citrulline might have a slight edge. Studies suggest that L-citrulline can lead to more sustained increases in nitric oxide levels compared to L-arginine. However, it's essential to talk to your healthcare provider before starting any new supplements, including L-arginine and L-citrulline. They can help determine the appropriate dosage and ensure it's safe for you based on your individual health conditions and medications. Chapter 5 This one might come as a surprise, but using certain mouthwashes too frequently can actually hinder nitric oxide production. I know, it sounds counterintuitive, right? We often associate mouthwash with cleanliness and good oral hygiene. However, here's the thing. Some mouthwashes contain antibacterial agents that are meant to kill harmful bacteria in our mouths. While this can be beneficial for preventing cavities and gum disease, it can also impact the good bacteria that reside in our mouths. And guess what? Some of these good bacteria play a crucial role in converting nitrates into nitric oxide. When we overuse antibacterial mouthwashes, we risk disrupting the balance of bacteria in our mouths, potentially reducing the conversion of nitrates into nitric oxide. Now, I'm not saying you should ditch mouthwash altogether. It definitely has its place in maintaining good oral hygiene. However, it's all about finding a balance. Consider using mouthwash less frequently, perhaps once a day or a few times a week, instead of after every meal. Chapter 6 Last but certainly not least, let's talk about the importance of staying hydrated. Water is essential for life and it plays a vital role in countless bodily functions, including nitric oxide production. Think of it this way, our blood is mostly water. When we're dehydrated, our blood volume decreases, making it thicker and more challenging for it to flow efficiently. This reduced blood flow can hinder the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to our cells, including the cells that produce nitric oxide. On the other hand, when we're properly hydrated, our blood volume is optimal, allowing for smooth and efficient blood flow. This improved circulation ensures that our cells, including those responsible for nitric oxide production, receive a steady supply of oxygen and nutrients, allowing them to function at their best. So how much water should you be drinking? The general recommendation is to aim for eight glasses of water per day, but individual needs may vary depending on factors like activity level, climate, and overall health. Thanks for watching. By incorporating these six practices into your lifestyle, you can effectively boost your nitric oxide levels and support overall cardiovascular and physiological health. Remember, nitric oxide is a powerful molecule that plays a crucial role in our well-being. And the best part is, we have the power to naturally increase its production through simple and enjoyable lifestyle changes. Whether it's adding more colorful vegetables to your plate engaging in regular physical activity or simply staying hydrated, every step you take towards a healthier lifestyle contributes to boosting your nitric oxide levels. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more health tips and information.